or until a toothpick that's toothpick, 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 not toothpick. We bake cupcakes. We pick with a toothpick. All right. Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how to make pink cupcakes using an all natural food coloring. Valentine's Day is just a couple days away and James is out of town, he gets back tonight. So I thought it might be fun to cook him some Valentine's Day cupcakes and show you guys how I made them. I'm calling these pink velvet cupcakes, but they're really just basic vanilla golden cupcakes with some homemade food coloring. They're perfect for Valentine's Day if you're looking to make someone for your loved one or your girlfriends for Galentine's Day or whoever you want to celebrate with. I'm going to be celebrating with the dogs until Jibs comes home. I'm very excited. Say hi to the nice people, Winston. Look, Winston has his pink on. We're all pink and ready for Valentine's Day. Oh, wait, Harley's here too. We are waiting for Daddy to come home. Okay, okay. The first thing we're going to do is make pink food coloring using a beet. A lot of food coloring is not vegan, especially the reddish pinkish colors because they use cockadale to make the food coloring. And that's not something I'm interested in eating. So that's why we're going to make our own food coloring today. All you have to do to make your homemade food coloring is take one beet and cut it up and put it into a blender. You just wanna blend that with a little bit of water. Just keep adding water until it blends easily. I should, probably should have used my smaller blender for this but I'm not a very good baker, so the disaster starts now. So you just wanna blend that until you've got yourself blended beets. I mean, what else is going to happen to it? <laughs> now I'm going to push that through a fine mesh sieve. You can also push this through a cheesecloth if you have that, or like a nut milk bag if you make your own nut milk at home. And that's how you make homemade food coloring. All right, let's move on to the cupcakes. If you've been watching this show for a while, you know that I'm not very good at baking. I don't have the patience for decorating. I burn almost everything unless I put a timer on, which I, what, two out of three times forget. Baking just really isn't my thing. I'm more of a cooking person. Like, invite me over and ask me to cook you an entire dinner party. I can do that. But if you ask me to make cupcakes, I'll probably screw them up on the first try. To a large bowl, we are going to whisk together one and a quarter cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon salt. Because they're pink cupcakes, I'm using pink salt. The logic there is completely flawed because it actually does not matter at all what kind of salt <laughs> you're going to use because you can't see the color of the salt anyway. Now I'm going to whisk that together until there are no lumps left and just set that aside. Onto our buttermilk. To make vegan buttermilk is actually super, super easy. All you need is one cup of soy milk and one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Just whisk that together and let it sit for about five minutes until it begins to curdle. And voila, homemade buttermilk. Oh, and the baking disasters have started. I forgot to preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 350. Do it right now. Okay, I'm going to use my stand mixer for the rest of this. If you do not have a stand mixer, you can just use a hand mixer. It's really up to you. To my stand mixer, I'm going to add a quarter cup of vegan butter, as well as half a cup of white sugar. I'm using just cane sugar here. Two tablespoons of coconut oil, and just mix that all together. And add two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, now that we have our wet mixture, let's add in our flour mixture and mix that together until it's well combined. Now at this point, you can decide whether you want golden cupcakes or you want pink cupcakes. I'm going to make mine just a little rosy pink. You can barely tell just by adding a couple drops of the homemade beet food coloring. Just keep adding food coloring until you get your desired color. Itchy eyeball. I'm not used to wearing this much makeup. I haven't seen James in like two weeks, so I put a lot of makeup on today. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like these cupcakes are going to feel once I've iced them. I literally feel like I have so much makeup on my face. I got cake, like a Valentine's Day cake. Okay, next part, super easy. All you have to do is line a cupcake tin with cupcake liners. I'm using a combination of different colors of pink. You can use whatever you want. Now I'm going to add the batter and to each cupcake liner, I only want to fill it about two thirds of the way. If you fill it up to the top, it's just going to spill over and you're going to have a cupcake mess. Trust me, I've done it before. All right, let's bake those for 20 minutes or until a toothpick that's inserted into the middle comes out clean. We're gonna move those onto a drying rack and just let them cool completely before we start icing, which means we have lots of time to make our icing, woohoo! For these cupcakes, I've decided to make a cream cheese frosting. I just love, love, love the flavor of cream cheese frosting, so why not? I'm making them, so that's what I like. 
and we're gonna make it nice and pink using the beet food coloring. So excited for this. I love, love, love using food to make other foods different colors. If you want them to be yellow, you can use turmeric. If you want them to be green, you can use some spirulina. I know things sometimes. All right, anyway, let's make the frosting. To the clean stand mixer, we are going to add one cup of vegan cream cheese, three quarter cups of vegan butter. We're gonna beat that until it's nice and creamy. Now we're going to add one half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then we are slowly going to add one cup of powdered sugar at a time. Now add one cup, beat it, and then add another cup, and then beat it, and then add another cup, and beat it. In the end, you're going to need about four to five cups of powdered sugar until your icing is nice and fluffy. Okay, I'm taking out half of this plain white icing and then we are going to dye the other half pink. We are just going to add, drop at a time, the beet juice. What? That's not a sentence. Add the beet food coloring, a drop at a time, until you get your desired hue of pink. I'm going for like a baby pink. Actually, I think it's called millennial pink. That's what we're going for. Millennial pink, but you can make it super dark pink. You can even make them red by adding a bunch. Trust me, beet juice is so bright, you actually don't need to add a lot at all. Just be careful, if you are adding more liquid, you are going to have to add more sugar. All right, I'm gonna stick both of my frostings, my white and my pink, into the fridge until our cupcakes are cooled. All right, our cupcakes are cooled. Ugh, this is the part I dread every time. I'm terrible at decorating things, but we're gonna try today. So if you are good at decorating, your cupcakes are gonna look way better than mine and that's okay. So I've put one of my colors into a piping bag and I put the other color into a plastic bag and I'm going to pipe just a simple swirl on top of the cupcakes. If you don't have a piping bag, a plastic bag is just a really cheap, affordable way. You just cut off the tip and then you can use that. All right, there you have it guys, pink cupcakes. I'm so excited to eat you. So my roommate is actually really good at decorating cupcakes. So she took um, the liberty of baking another batch and then decorating these ones for me. Mmm. Oh my God. Mm. I probably have cake all over my face. Probably ruined this perfect makeup. I have icing stuck to the roof of my mouth. It's a lot going on. Okay, here's the thing. So James doesn't like cupcakes or cake. So I really just make this stuff for myself. So I have a feeling I'm going to be eating 12 cupcakes alone. Actually, no, my roommate will help me. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I just licked almost all the icing off of my fingers. So what are you making your loved one? Are you doing anything? Are you not doing anything? Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Do you not? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I have like, this entire thing of cupcakes to go eat now. All right, there you guys have it. Pink cupcakes for Valentine's Day or just if you wanna brighten someone's day. Great for your significant other or your gal pal, guy pal, whatever. And if you're looking for more recipes, buy my new cookbook. There are a couple baking recipes in there that um, I can make. So if I can make them, then you can make them. Also, this makes a great Valentine's Day gift if your significant other is vegan. You gotta get that Amazon Prime. Get it in like two days, it's perfect. All right, guys, if you like this recipe, give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new here, please take the time to hit that subscribe button so that you get new vegan recipes every single week. And let me know what you guys are doing for your significant others or your friends on Valentine's Day in the comment section below. Or if you hate Valentine's Day, also let me know in the comment section below. This video is actually the first part of a three-part series that we are putting out for Valentine's Day this week. So we are going to do like love week everywhere. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the cupcakes. On Wednesday, I am going going to release our wedding video. Yeah, remember that wedding that we told you guys about? It was going to be all vegan. We were going to film the entire process and then we wrote a book instead, so that didn't happen. Yeah, sorry about that. But I am going to release the wedding video on Wednesday and then on Friday, James and I are going to sit down, eat some treats and tell you guys all about our big day and kind of where the idea came from and who we use and some quick tips and tricks if you are trying to plan your own vegan wedding. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram because we will be releasing wedding photos all week long. Hip hip hooray for love week. I love love and I hope that you love love as much as I do too. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!